on our watch while we're doing this interview, um, my producer, Ben, just got in my ear and told me a judge, tell me again, Ben, a judge just blocked Biden's immigration program, which grants citizenship to spouses of citizens. So, you know, I just the, made a video right on that. Actually. This. So, Carlos, what is the implication of this? Yeah, so this is the parole in place program that the Biden administration announced uh, back in June 17th. It actually took effect at the beginning of this year uh, of this last week. Um, and basically what happens is when you come into the country illegally and you marry a U.S. citizen, you don't get to uh, adjust automatically. You have to leave your country, ask for what's known in the community as forgiveness, and then you're able to come back. So what this allowed is basically if you've been here for more than 10 years, you can do that process in the country without having to leave. It, it would benefit around half a million families, and there's already precedent for this. If you're in the military and you marry an undocumented person, they can opt for the same process. So it was something, you know, for people who have been here for many years paying taxes, have no mm -hmm. criminal record, and now they're back into this uncertainty. Yes, they can still adjust status through marriage, but they have to leave the country, and you never know what happens when that's the case. So it's actually really something horrible, especially considering the people that would benefit, like I said, are people who have been here mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20 years contributing, paying taxes, and no criminal record because that's part of the application. So uh, it's just devastating. I actually made a video, like I said, right before, and I was heartbroken about it. Uh, I got to jump. Geraldo Rivera, I love you and thank you. Um, Carlos Espina, I told you at the convention, I want to talk about these issues. I'll have you on my show. And look, here we are. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.